guys, welcome to the channel. As always, if you find this helpful, please like, please subscribe, and please set notifications on so you can catch me again and help me grow the channel. So today what we're going to do is we are going to map some Wii games to our joysticks using Dolphin and um, Sarah. So uh, just real quick, I tried to map this game, and I did, and I used every possible function that a Wii Remote has, because this is a fighter game where you're using a chainsaw for one thing, kicks, jumps, um, blocks, all kinds of moves with like the shaking of the Wii Mode and the left and right tilt and the pointer and freaking everything, and I played it, it wasn't the best experience because some of the controls mapped a little nutty but it was it was fun and challenging to do and at the end of everything I was one move like one controller function short of being able to play through it so I bought a dolphin bar and I'll demonstrate that in another video but I mapped a bunch of these games that worked if a game needs like 50 different controls, I mean, it's just not gonna happen. This was my special request, and this was the first game I did. It was the reason I even bought this entire setup. So let's, uh, wrong button. Let's hold down the B button and get to advanced game options. So we see our emulator's dolphin. So this is very important. I forgot to do this once and I was going crazy figuring out what I was doing wrong. So emulate Wiimote needs to be on. Very important. If you leave it off, it will not work. And it has to be on every game you map. You have to go in here first or before it'll work and turn the Wiimote to on. Okay, so we're done with this section. Take our keyboards, go to our keyboard. Oh, actually, let's go back one. You can only access our keyboard through the section of the menu that we need. So you press F1, and we'll get to the file. Applications. Dolphin. Double click and let it populate. And here you can do the Wii games and we can do the um, GameCube games as well. I haven't need I haven't had the need to do much in GameCube because a lot of those games have um, RetroArc and I was able to do everything from there so far. But it's a good skill to know, too, if you're doing it on PC without Batocera, then you'll need to do it directly through Dolphin. Um, you can go here, punch out, and click Controller. We'll go right here, Wii Remote 1, Configure. We'll just test our first controller. I'm on the first one, so let's make sure you're not on the second one by mistake, or it's... Or if you have something, I had it once plugged in backwards, so I did a lot of work and then screwed it up. Well, all you have to do is then resave it. But anyway, so this is simple button mapping like you would do anywhere. You'll left click this and then click a button. Left click this, whatever you want your B button to be, click that. You know, left click whatever you want your one and two button to be. And then after you're done with everything, you will. Uh, write in a profile name. So I'll actually call up my punch out profile. And then you press, you'll press load. Well, that's after you have it right, you'll press load. So you'll do this mapping here. You'll map your D pad. Um, I always check attach motion plus. And then you'll write a profile name and you'll press save. Later on, you can actually. Let's say I'm doing game two. 
and I want something similar, similar, I could just load the punch out profile here. I can delete this and write in my new profile and write save and it'll just save you know, another profile for you with another name so you won't have to redo the mapping all the time. You might just have to change something in here. So then we'll go to this tab, motion simulation. Do my axis wrong. Up, down, left, right. Okay, now we're moving. That'll be our pointer and we're moving it. And let's see if we can slow it down. Sometimes it moves so fast that you can't control it. You'll right click and go on properties, editor. And this is important. This is what you will need to connect Dolphin to the Batocera front end. So this tells Batocera front end how to read the Dolphin remap file. So you can pretty much just copy this. We mode source zero equals one, and then we mode profile one equals punch out. So it's calling out punch out if you were calling up NBA Jam or Mario, you'd write NBA Jam or Mario here. Whatever you named your profile would have to be written the same way. Um, I actually want to... And I'm going to put a link up to Batocera Nation because that part um, of the tutorial I learned from his video. I knew how to do it on my PC, but it's a bit different. So this is how I was able to do versus mode on Mario Super Sluggers. So we mode source zero equals one, we mode source one equals one, we mode source two equals one, we mode profile one equals Mario Super Sluggers, we mode profile three equals Mario Super Sluggers. So basically what I'm telling it is that, you know, controller one is player one, but controller two is not player two, it's player three. Okay, so we'll close that. And we won't need to do that in punch out, we'll do that in Mario. So let's just load punch out from the dolphin emulator real quick before we go into Batocera. And before I knew how to link it, before I figured that out, I was just coming in here and double clicking and playing it through here, through Dolphin. Remap it quickly. And it didn't do what I wanted it to do. So, in the motion, I might have just gone completely backwards. And made it faster. So that's what you want to see too. That means it's understanding your game profile. That Batocera is understanding your game profile already. Check things. Oh, look at that. Slow ass slow, but it's not going all the way to the left. So we over adjust it, but that's okay. So now we know we're on the right track. Let's do what we wanted to do. Oh crap, and I didn't check the controller, but okay, we'll check it. All right, there we go. Well, that's a reasonable speed, right? And click my profile, looks nothing like me. See this jumping around now, but it looks like it's touching every corner. All right, let's save it again and see, it's all we could do.
or close anyway. Check the controls. Close it. down working. is down, I pressed it too late. this out right, let's go to we go to punch out and we're looking for that left hand corner to make sure it's calling up our profile there it is loading game specific remap file I'm gonna go through the whole game if it has our pointer working the rest is pretty easy. I know the rest works. This is what took me forever to figure out how to do this. And there was no tutorials, there was nothing. I just figured it out. So, there we go, punch out. And now you know how to map Wii games.